I've been in education. And this is really near and dear to my heart because I've been on the other side of college planning. I've been on the purely academic side to make sure that students have the best possible start to be successful, to get to 12th grade, to graduate, then to go to college. But as an educator, what I've seen is some of the best and brightest young people not actually being able to go to the schools of their choice or being able to even go to college, depending on if their families could afford it or not. So there's just this disconnect between the work we do in education to prepare kids for college and then their ability to actually see it to fruition. So that's one part for why this is important. Another part, as Fred said, we, do, we have two daughters. And we're, you know how they say the hair club for men, I'm not only the president, <laughs> I'm a member. But it's the same thing with us. Like, we're in the middle of this right now. We're starting to navigate the waters with our daughters and having conversations with them. And we're also looking at how our financial situation will predict what opportunities they will have as well. So a lot of the information we're going to share with you, some of it we've learned, some of it we're kind of navigating and experiencing at the same time. So we're all in this together. So the big piece of what we're trying to do tonight is to make sure that when you're making the selection for college, you are actually an informed buyer. Because there's two different types of ways you can pay for college. You can be an informed buyer of a college education or an uninformed buyer. And that uninformed buyer is going to pay a lot more money than an informed buyer. So that's going to be our goal tonight, to make sure that you are getting the best possible price because you know the strategies that you can implement that would help you to be able to do so. So just some quick logistics. We want to go through our agenda for tonight and the things that we're going to be working through. We're going to spend some time talking about the current cost of college. We're going to talk about that dilemma between college funding and your retirement savings. Um, we're going to cover some very critical basic information that you need to know as far as entering into the college um, application process, some secrets to reducing your cost for college, some costly mistakes to avoid, and then understanding the college admissions and financial aid minefield and trying to get blown up in the process. And then Fred's going to end with some um, really influential bets, next steps that you can implement. So we're going to start with the current cost of college. So as a parent, you know, you get your wonderful bundle of joy and you come home and there's these things that parents are constantly worrying about. First, we're worrying about our own um, safety and security. How can I make sure that nothing happens to me or my husband as we're trying to raise our kids because we spend so much time wondering if something happens, who's going to take care of our kids for us? Then we have a concern about, all right, as we're living life and, and doing all the things that we have to do, are we still saving up for our retirement? And then we have to think about our job security. Do we have access to an income that would allow us to provide for our children? And then that number four top concern, which will be the reason why we're all here tonight, is how can I go about saving and paying for college? You know, that's one of those things that, you know, we think about when our kids are little. We're like, oh, they're so cute. You can be anything you grow up. Well, anything costs money. You know, you can't, it's, it's great we say that to our kids, but at the same time, are we making good financial decisions and creating strategies that would allow them to actually live out that promise of doing and being whatever they want to be? And so when we think about that, and we think about the cost of college, if you actually look at the annual cost for a public school, you're going to be figuring in about on the low side, nineteen dollars to $20,000 for one year. If you're talking about a public institution, you're looking at starting around $42,000 for one year. And here's the problem. Like, I've never seen college go on sale. I've never seen like any amount of extreme couponing or anything that would help you pay for college. So somehow, we have to figure out strategies that would bring those costs down because the colleges are not going to do that for us. So we have to take ownership in that. And when we project this forward for four years, thinking about the cost of college today, which is tuition, all the extra fees. This is from someone who's in the doctorate program. There's so many fees, I don't even know what I'm paying for, but you have to pay. So you have your tuition, you have fees, and you have your room and board costs. And at a public school, that could average around eighty-two dollars to $100,000 for four years. Or if you're going to a private school, that could be between $181,000 to about $200,000 for four years. I keep saying four years for a reason because in 2014, the U.S. Department of Education put out some statistical data that 53% of college freshmen take six years 
will graduate in six, up to six years. There's another 47% there. We're not, I don't know that. There's another 47%. We don't even know what happens to them. There are 53% that are graduating in six years or less. So if that's the cost for four years of college, let's add on another year or two to get to that. So we know that over 250 colleges cost about $50,000 a year. If you're talking about a student that is on a five or six year college plan, you could actually end up spending close <coughs> to $250,000 for one child. We have two kids. That is half a million dollars. I don't have <laughs> I don't either. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know you have some good strategies. You know? But you know, we, we don't have that type of money laying around. And even if we did have it, there are a few other things I'd like to be able to use some of that money for as well. So again, we want to be a really informed buyer so that when we're looking at college education, we're able to afford it and we're still able to take care of some needs that the family may have at the same time. So now let's talk about the dilemma between college funding and retirement savings. Because that's, if you know, Fred and I are getting to the age now where it's like, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel that eventually we'll be able to retire. And we know what we want that to look like. But we also have some responsibilities. And that's the emotional concern that a lot of parents are facing every day. Do we have a plan for how we're going to help our, our two daughters pay for college and at the same time, how are we going to make sure that when we retire, we can retire and live a comfortable lifestyle and not have to really struggle too much? But these are our kids. So what are we going to do? We're going to sacrifice. If that means we may not have what we want for retirement, we're going to make sure our kids are going to have what they need to go to college so that their future is greater than ours. Part of the problem is, though, by doing that, we don't want to end up like these parents, where their child, they, they, they sacrifice. Their students were able to go to college, but you can see that they're probably their retirement was, wasn't as good as they had hoped it would be. And that's one of the things that we want to, you know, spend some time on tonight so that we can help to um, actually make it so that none of us end up like that. But it's okay, we're not going to lose hope. When we talk about college planning, we're not just talking about um, planning for college, but we're also talking about our college planning to save on the cost. And there's some strategies that we want to implement for that. So if we take it out of the realm of college and financial planning, think about the last time you purchased a car. Most people don't save up money to purchase a car. Instead, what they do is they research, they learn as much about the car, they learn about its resale value, they learn about um, what the interest rate would be, can I afford this with my monthly bills that I already have, and they do a lot of research to say, is this a good financial um, costs and, and risks that we want to take to make this purchase. Well, we have, and that's only about $35,000 maybe for a decent car. Um, if you think about college, you're talking about a hundred to $200,000 purchase. Are we putting the same amount of time and effort in that and researching that to make sure that again, we're making good choices. So when it comes to college planning, it's really important to know that it is not a one size fits all. And even though there's about four, six, eight, ten people in the room, we could talk about strategies, but we would probably need at least 20 or 30 different strategies to meet the needs of everyone in this room. Because your situation is unique, your needs are unique, and the goals of your children are unique. So part of this is really thinking about, do we know the ins and outs of this very complex topic so that we can understand all of the different aspects for college planning based on your circumstance and based on what your goals are for your children and your family. And this is our goal is to be able to help you through this process so that at the end, you don't pay more $1 more than what you should pay or what you would be expected to pay for college. And that's part of our goal is helping you through that. So now I'm gonna switch off to Fred. He has some really important information to share with you. He's gonna cover the basics and I will say, out of everything that we're gonna talk about tonight, this is really the meat and potatoes. This is probably the part that you really, if you're taking notes or you're holding on to something, this is the part that can resonate with you the most. 